So imagine you just got hate rated. Everyone's spamming really awful things in chat. I have set up a voice command that will put the chat in lockdown. Let me demo that. Eliminate the haters. Warning. Haters detected. Chat locked down until hater levels have normalized. So what I've actually done through a voice command, I have turned sub only mode on, cleared the chat. I've also refreshed the overlay here. So if there's any nasty stuff here, it actually gets refreshed so that nobody can see it anymore. And then just for fun, we also had some text-to-speech voice stuff. We changed the lights behind me and then put this little message. This is actually a monitor, by the way. We put a little message here to notify you guys like, hey, everybody that's coming to the chat, just so you know what's going on, sub-only mode, we had to turn it on because there was a hate raid. But additionally, I've also put a, a message in chat. So every 30 seconds, you'll see, it just went right now. It posts that every 30 seconds in chat. That's there so that that everybody knows this is what's going on. This is a popular thing. I posted this last year on Twitter when that huge wave of hate raids was going on on Twitch. Well, it seems that in the past week, hate raids have unfortunately become a topic again. And even though Twitch has added some features like phone number verification to stop bots from spamming your channel, there's nothing stopping real, actual people from flooding your channel with horrible and hateful messages. So to combat that, I thought it would be a good idea to show you how to create a lockdown command for your stream, just in case you get targeted in a hate raid. Quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Nerd or Die. You guys already know about them, I talk about them all the time. Nerd or Die is a place where you can get overlays, widgets, panels, all sorts of designs for your stream. All their designs are really easy to install and super customizable so you can customize all the colors and make it fit your own layout and theme. They're currently running their spring streaming sale so all their widgets are 25% off and all their featured packs are 40% off. So check them out, I'll leave a link down below and if for some reason the sale's already over, you can always use code NUTTY to get 15% off for everything, forever. Even, even right now. All right, let's get started. We're like three minutes in the video. By the way, thanks for the ad revenue. All right, let's talk about what we're gonna be doing. We're essentially gonna run a gigantic macro that's gonna turn sub only mode on, follower only mode on, slow mode, maybe even run an ad. We'll also have it clear chat and a whole bunch of other actions. Basically the idea is to make it as hard as possible for an evil person to come in your chat and spew evil hateful stuff and tell you suck at games even though it's true most of the time. I'll also show you multiple options for activating your lockdown command. Maybe a hotkey on your keyboard, or a button on your stream deck, or a command that your mods can type into Twitch chat, or even activating it using just your voice, which is really fun. Oh, and if you wanna be ultra safe, I'll even show you an option to lock down your chat the second that you go offline so that while you're not streaming, nobody can come in your stream and spam awful things while you're not there. But the second that you go back online, it will unlock your chat again. All of this will be done using a free tool called StreamerBot. Basically, StreamerBot is a chatbot for Twitch, much like what you're probably using like Nightbot or the Streamlabs CloudBot except really, really advanced. I'm not gonna go through the whole installation process for StreamerBot because I've already done a video on that. You can check it out up here. But just to quickly get you up to speed, you just go to the website. It's literally streamer.bot. Like that's the name of the program and the URL for the website. You click the download button and you open up the program and that, that's basically it. That's, that's a whole installation process. So let's get StreamerBot open and start creating our lockdown command. So when you open up StreamerBot, the first thing that you need to do is get it connected to Twitch. So click connect to Twitch. It's gonna open up this window. Got to read all this stuff. Let's be real. Nobody's going to read this, okay? Just click authorize. Once it's connected, go over to the actions tab. And this is where we can start creating our different commands. So we can right click and add, and we're going to call this one lockdown. And then over on the right hand side is where we can start defining the different things that we want our lockdown command to do. For example, we can right click and add and go over to Twitch. And maybe the first thing that we'd want to do is turn on slow mode. So people can only write messages every, let's just say uh, one message every 15 seconds. Let's add a second one. This time we're gonna go back to Twitch and we're gonna select sub only mode this time. So you gotta be subbed if you wanna chat. How about this time we add in uh, emote only mode so you can only type emotes in chat. Let's see what else they got here. You can have, uh, let's run a commercial this time. So we'll run 30 seconds of ads at the same time too. How about followers only mode, yeah? 
Uh, unfortunately, there is no option for followers only mode. So what you can do is you can just select the send message to channel. And this would be basically the equivalent of just typing out a message in chat. So we can use the followers only command, which is slash followers and then the duration in minutes. So five minutes, which means you can only talk in chat if you've been following the channel for at least five minutes. So press OK on that. Uh, how about clearing the chat too? So we can clear all of the messages in chat by sending a message to and typing in slash clear. So if people have spammed insert racist terminology here, you can clear the chat and it will clear all of those messages. Another one I like to add is a stream marker so that if I do get hate rated and I want to go back into my VOD and see where I got hate rated to maybe report some people, we can add that to our macro as well. So we'll just say, oh no, I got hate rated, help. But you can see where I'm going with this. We're essentially just adding as many actions as we want. And when we activate our lockdown command, every single one of these actions is gonna fire off at the exact same time. This saves you from having to type in like 20 different things every time you get hate rated. You just press one button or activate one command and it will do everything all for you. Now, one of the great things about StreamerBot is that it also connects directly to OBS too. So it can take control of OBS. The reason why this would be useful is if you have any follower alerts or maybe you have an on-screen chat widget, you can use StreamerBot to maybe turn off the browser source for your alerts or refresh the browser source that has your chat widget. So if you have any hateful messages on screen, you can refresh that browser source and it will clear all of the messages. So if you wanna do any of that, anything to do with controlling OBS, then you need to connect StreamerBot to OBS. Again, the instructions for connecting to OBS are in my StreamerBot video, so make sure to watch that video if you want to know how this tab works. For those of you that are connected to OBS, then you can add even more actions to our lockdown command. So you just go over here to OBS and you can see all the different things you can do to control OBS, like taking a screenshot or stopping and starting your stream, which I probably wouldn't do if you're trying to make a lockdown command, but you can do some useful things like turning off the browser source that has all your alerts so they stop firing off. So you can do that by going to set source visibility state and this will list all the different scenes in OBS and all the different sources. So we would select the browser source that has our alerts, in this case stream elements alerts. Then we would set the state to hidden so that your chat doesn't see it anymore. Another example of this is I added an image source above my camera that I can show so anytime I get hate rated, we can show this message above chat so that anybody that's wondering why they can't speak, they can just read that message and they'll know what's going on. And this one's basically exactly the same. Right click add, we'll go into OBS again, select source visibility state, and then we'll just select our image source that contains that message and we'll set the visibility to visible because during the lockdown, we want our chat to be able to see it. If I have an on-screen chat widget, that contains all the hateful messages like here, I would like to refresh that browser source so that all the messages disappear. And the way to do that is go to add action, select OBS, and there's no native action for refreshing browser sources. So what I like to do is I add a raw and I want you to go ahead and paste this code here, except instead of the source name here, put in the name of the browser source that contains your chat widget. So in my case, in my scenes, I have a source here, this one called sideways chat. This contains all my chat messages and this is just a normal browser source. So what I do here is I just put the name in here and we can actually go and test it. If I click on the test button here, all the messages disappear. So we can go ahead, just press okay and that will add that to our lockdown command. So our lockdown command's looking pretty good. Now we have to create an unlock command to reverse all of the different actions that we just added. So a quick way to do that is to just right click and create a duplicate of our lockdown command. And we'll rename this, click edit, and we'll just name this unlock. And then we just have to go through each of the different commands here and reverse the actions. So here for slow mode, right click this, turn this to state to no, set sub only mode, turn this one off as well. Emote only mode, turn this one off, 
Just go down the list and turn everything off. Just make sure when you come down into the followers only command, the command for this is followers off. So our lockdown command is looking pretty good right now. Looks pretty awesome. It's pretty useless though, because I haven't actually shown you how to actually activate it. StreamerBot has a lot of different options for activating our different actions. The simplest one would be to set a hotkey. So go over to the hotkeys tab and we'll add a hotkey. This time we'll press, how about we set it to every time we press control F1. So control, we will activate which action? Our lockdown action. And we'll do the same thing for our unlock command. So add, select anytime we press control F2 select our unlock command. Let's come over to Twitch chat and see what's going on and oh, oh no, we're being hang rated. What do we do? Press control F1, boom. Chat is cleared. This message comes up, on-screen chat has disappeared. We just run our big macro. Now nobody's able to talk. They can only use emotes, except for me, because I'm the broadcaster. Ha ha ha, I can say things and you can't. But now if I want to bring the chat back to normal, then I press control F2. That message disappears. Slow mode's disabled, emote only mode disabled, followers only is disabled, and everything is back to normal. Another option would be to create a chat command that you can type into Twitch chat to enable your lockdown command. This would be really good if you have mods that, you know, mods you actually trust and don't bully you. So the way to do this is to go over to the commands tab and right click and add a command. In the top box, this would be what you would type into Twitch chat to turn on your lockdown command. So in my case, I would want to type something like lockdown on, and then you would select the different action that you would want to run. So select action and we'll select lockdown. And then over in the right hand side, this would be the different users that you would want to be able to use this command. In my case, I only want my mods to be able to use this. So I bring over the mods to the allowed column, press okay. And then we do the same thing for our unlock command. So right click add, and we'll type in lock down off, select the action, unlock, and then bring our mods over to the allowed column, press okay. So now when we come over to Twitch chat and type in lock down on, chat should be locked down, message pops up here. And then when we type in lock down off, everything comes back to normal again. How about we set up a voice command this time? This one's really fun, totally unnecessary, but I, I really like using voice commands. Again, this can all be done within StreamerBot as well. So if you go over into the voice control tab and go into settings, this is where you set your microphone. We're gonna select our microphone here and click start listening. And they go over to commands. And then this is where you add your different words that you would say or your different phrases to activate your lockdown. So I would right click add and we can name this lockdown. And over in command, this would be the different phrase that you would speak to enable your lockdown. So I would say, turn on lockdown, and then action, select action, press lockdown, select, okay. And then we do the same thing for our unlock. So add, and I'll say, turn off lockdown. Action would be unlock, press okay. And if it works, then I can simply say, turn on lockdown. Everything comes locked down. This message appears. I'm in emote only mode. And then I can say, turn off lockdown. And then chat is back to normal. Super simple. As you can see, StreamerBot is very powerful, but it's also really simple to use. And if for some reason you think that my lockdown command is way too aggressive and maybe you don't want to enable things like emote only mode or you don't want to turn on slow mode because you know, you don't want your stream to be like a maximum security prison or anything. You can just leave those out of your lockdown command. You can customize it to be whatever you want it to be for your stream. Now, one more thing that some people have been concerned about is what happens if someone sends you a hate raid while you're not even streaming? Like, let's just say you're not even live and someone spams all these homophobic things in your stream. And the first thing I thought was, well, that's kind of dumb. Doesn't that feed the whole purpose of a hate raid? But. You know, I don't send hate raids to people, so I don't really know what their logic is. So the fact is, that is a concern for people, and I thought of a solution for that as well. StreamerBot actually has the capability of running actions every time you stop and start a stream. So if you go over into your OBS tab and select your OBS connection, you can add an event here. So right click add, 
and you can see a whole list of events here. Now, you don't need to know what all these events mean, but if you look through the list, you have some options here for stream started. I don't know where it is because this is not an alphabetical order. Here it is, stream started. So when my stream has been started, we can run an action. And it's this case, we would want to unlock our chat. And we would do the same thing for stream ended. So add action or add event, whatever it's called. I'm not re-recording this, okay? We're just, it's too late. We've begun. <laughs> so we're gonna go stream stopped. There we go. And select our lockdown command. So when we stop streaming, we're gonna lock down our chat. And when we start streaming, we'll unlock our chat. Now, because I'm such a nice person, I'm actually gonna demo that right now. So I'm gonna actually click my start streaming button and then all my viewers are gonna think I'm live when I'm not actually live. So start streaming, nothing would have happened, but when I stop streaming, look what happens. Our chat is in lockdown mode. This message appeared. And if you look at our Twitch chat over here, it's an emote only mode, chat's been cleared and all the messages are gone. And then when we start streaming again, so I'll start streaming again. Our chat has been unlocked again. Isn't that awesome? I thought it was a really great feature. Now you can take your lockdown command as far as you want it to go. You can use as much creativity as you want. It's totally up to you what you want to do. It doesn't have to be as boring as like, hey, I just cleared chat or hey, I just turned sub only mode on. Like you can add sound effects or videos to it. Or in my case, I changed the colors of the lights behind me. It can be whatever you want it to be. Just for those of you that are curious, this is what my lockdown command actually looks like in my stream. So we have a lot of the same stuff going on, like refreshing a browser source and turning sub only mode on, but we also added things in sound effects. We even have a lightning command in here. And the end result is something that looks like this. Warning, haters detected. Chat locked down until hater levels have normalized. You know, I put so much effort into making this command and I haven't even been hate rated once. I got hate rated like five times. And as soon as I made this cool thing and I wanted to use my lockdown, nobody hate rated me. So if you want to hate raid me, come watch me on Twitch. I stream three nights a week. It's awesome. Uh, if you also want help, you can join the discord as well. But uh, until then, see you guys on Twitch. Uh, just make sure when you hate raid me, like just don't make it too bad. Okay. I, I don't, my fragile heart can't take it.